Today on Fix It Friday, we're going to make this antique table with leaves work again. So the way this table is made, the base pedestal separates whenever you want to pull it apart to put leaves in. But the piece to match this to the underside of the table is missing. So I'm going to take some 2 by 4s cut them to length, and put them under here. Kind of space it out and make it a little higher where you can get chairs under it. But it also mount it to the foot base pedestal. So when you want to separate it, it can move back and forth. So instead of cutting the wood, I found some scrap pieces down in my basement. I'm just going to take a small drill bit and pilot drill. Three screw holes in each board, spaced out evenly. Alright, got a little product review today. First off, it's going to be a DeWalt drill. It's uh, part number BCD771CT. It's 20 volt lithium ion. Um, bought it on sale for $100 at. Uh, around Christmas. Um, inside the box comes with soft carrying case. Pretty good case. Pretty thick material. Good zipper. Um, two lithium batteries. 20 volt. They seem to hold really good charge. With the drill itself comes with um, adjustable clutch 1 through 15 and then a drill setting where the clutch doesn't kick in. Forward reverse. Flat underneath the head above the trigger. Uh, it's not all that heavy, even with a battery in it. Seems to do pretty good. And also, charger for the two batteries. Um, batteries charge really quick. They seem to charge about 30 minutes or so if they're completely dead. But they hold a charge for a long time. I used it for a couple weeks now. Um, I've only, I charged the batteries when I first got it. and. I charged them once since then. I've done quite a bit of drilling and screwing parts together and things. Um, they seem to do a really good job. The only part that I um, didn't know and was a little unhappy with at first is it doesn't come with a belt clip or a part to hold um, the screwdriver bits. And it didn't come with any screwdriver bits. So after I bought it and got home, I had to go back and and buy the Phillips head flathead screwdriver bits but they weren't that expensive only part is there's no place to store them unless you buy the parts to screw on here to hold it for the belt clip and the screwdriver attachment thing um, forward reverse neutral it's got a one and two two is faster one slower but torquier um, just a adjustable chuck on the end that once you do tighten it down around something it clicks a few times and then it's there it's not gonna go anywhere but overall um, for the price I'm really happy with it it's not the commercial grade which I didn't need I'm not a contractor or anything but for what I've done I haven't been able to uh, to find anything that it can't screw into without stripping the head or drill through so this in my book has two thumbs up I like it so far and I've been needing one of these for a while so I've got all my boards ready we'll go ahead and attach them to the runners underneath the table Got the 2x4s mounted to the 
the table top underneath. Now I just need to mount the pedestal to the 2x4. All right, there's the finished product with the leaf in it. Underneath here, you can see the pedestal spread apart. And you can see some of the two by fours mounted under there. This thing is super sturdy and not going anywhere. Thanks for watching another episode of Fix It Friday. Hopefully this video helped you out in some way. If you have any comments or requests or suggestions of things you'd like to see me fix, just let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and share the video. And hopefully I'll see you around next time.